Hey guys, Caddy Chalama here, coming back at you with another movie review. Uh, today's going to be another quick one. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the uh, new Netflix movie, Cosmic Sin, uh, starring Bruce Willis. And Bruce Willis has kind of become another one of those actors, uh, a lot like Nicolas Cage, where we hear a lot of stories, you know, we hear things about them, um, you know, on the internet, uh, but we, you know, you, you can never be quite sure, you know, you, we just hear things, and, and one of those things is that he, he, he has become routinely, uh, like, famously lazy with his, with the movies he's involved with, and, um, He's becoming more and more disconnected with, you know, the product that he's actually putting out. And you can really, really tell that in this movie, Cosmic Sin. Uh, I, can't, I can't tell you how many scenes there are where it's, it's really just a close-up on Bruce Willis's face and there's nobody else in the shot. I mean, there are a couple shots, you know, you know there, are, there are some shots where... Um, you know, he's got other people in there acting with him, but most of it's just, there's a lot of shots where it's just Bruce Willis and it's, it's just zoomed in on him and, and it's just facial reaction, facial reactions. And that's one of the things you hear about with him is that, um, you know, he's going to show up on set. You might have him for two or three days, you know, maybe, and then he's gone. You know, you're not going to get him back to really do anything. It's, you know, maybe one or two takes, and that's it. He's he's on the road, you know. And I could I could see that happening in this movie, you know. Not a lot of not a lot of interaction with other with other actors, you know. Um, they really tried to portray it as like a Bruce Willis movie, but <clears throat> a lot of the younger unknown actors listed in this movie are doing a lot more than Bruce Willis is, you know, he, he, you'll have a five minute part with him or, you know, three, four minute part, and then he'll run off to go do something. And then we don't see him for another 10, 15 minutes. Now we're just following some young Lieutenant or, or something running around. And, um, and then Bruce Willis pops up for another 30 seconds, does his thing. And then, boom, we go back to somebody else. You know, it, it's it's not um, not the best acting. A um, lot of young people, a lot of young unknowns. Uh, the th three biggest names are Bruce Willis, Frank Grillo, who's uh, who's uh, most people would probably know as Rumlow in Captain the Captain America movies, and then Corey Large plays um, uh, Bruce Willis's sidekick Dash. Uh, and he's been in a bunch of movies like uh, Lone Survivor and Machine Gun Preacher, stuff like that. Um, Character-wise, I mean, I like Bruce Willis's character. You know, they they the fallen general, the 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 discarded hero from from past wars. You know, I like that idea. Um, Everybody else, just average, run-of-the-mill characters. You know, some some doctor of biology, you know, some random lieutenant. It could, it, they could be anybody, you know. Like, you, you, you can swap those characters out for anybody, any other person. You know, no, nothing distinguishes them. Um, Story-wise, it's shit. Um, uh, basically... Uh, they um, stole the whole idea of the movie from either, you know, Stargate or, if you're a Star Trek fan, The Borg, um, to where it's a hive collective alien species um, that comes in contact with humans. And then um, we start ourselves a little war in between, in between the two species. And, you know, they go as far as to even call this alien species a parasite. They just infect us to use our bodies. Um, that that's gold from from Stargate. I mean, it's that at one point they even have a Stargate in space that they set up, ring, portal, aliens are going to come through. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's there's blatant ripoffs from other sci-fi shows that we've seen for years. Nothing nothing interesting or new. Um, 
the movie is supposed to take place in twenty five in in two the year two thousand five hundred and twenty four, but we're still driving Toyota Tundras around, and still driving nineteen ninety Harleys, and uh, we still have M sixteens and regular machine guns. You know, there there are some future things that they put in here. You know, we do have quantum teleportation and and uh, a, a big nuclear bomb called the the Q bomb, which basically creates a black hole and can destroy a whole solar system. But other than that, I mean, it's it's crap. It's not good. Um, they put on these future suits. They're basically just wearing just shoulder pads, you know, like they're just wearing, they don't even do anything. They don't increase strength. They don't increase durability. Uh, they let them tr space travel, you know, like they let them space travel and that's it. That's as far as the military has gotten in the future. So uh, I don't think it's very creative um, in that sense. The character interaction is just dumb. It's very, very dumb character writing. Uh, there are weird cuts in the movie to, to scenes that don't matter and don't make any sense, uh, that have no connection to any other, anything else throughout the whole story. Um, so after they get to the planet they're trying to get to, and uh, the group kind of comes back together, Bruce Willis's character and kind of the group kind of decide what the action plan is going to be. You know, we're going to... We're going to fire this Q-bomb through the, the Stargate and, and we're going to wipe out the alien species. And his side character, Dash, who's literally been with him forever, pulls him off to the side. He goes, hey, can we have a conversation in private? They take three steps to the left and then he tells Bruce Willis, hey, man, we don't, we don't need none of this. this. This ain't for us, you know. We can just get out of here. And Bruce Willis says... Hey man, nobody's gonna judge you if if you want to split. You know you're good. And Dash goes, really? And Bruce Willis says, yeah. And Dash goes, all right, you convinced me. I guess well, I guess I'll stay. And that's literally the conversation. And, and I like it wasn't needed. It wasn't a good conversation. N none of it. There are two or three of those throughout the movie. At one point, they're getting ready to do the fight. And Dash just leans down and has this conversation with a little girl. Never seen her before. It, it looked like they were filling time to fill out a to fill out a, a minute count on the movie. You know, he leans down and he talks to her about her sunglasses. You know, and that's it. You know, 45, maybe a minute. And then it's boom. Never see the girl again. Never have any interaction with her again. You know. I don't, you know, like, there's bad editing where, you know, they've gone back through and, and edited it, tried to, you know, piece together. I'm assuming they just didn't have a lot of lot filmed and they, they just had to hack it together. But, um, and you can tell, you know, it just didn't come out very good. You know, I mean, I would literally, I wonder what Bruce Willis from the 90s would say if he saw the stuff he's making now, you know, like he, he used to put in so much work and like put out such good movies, such, such good action films. And now it's just like, like I said before, he's just become another Nicolas Cage where he's, he's just putting, putting just really bad content out, you know, and um, you know, whatever. I, I, you know, I grew up watching him, you know, loved Bruce Willis movies, you know, but now he's just kind of a joke. And, and these movies the, he keeps putting out are just, you know, they go along, right, along with, right, right along with that. They're just jokes. But maybe, uh, maybe other people saw something else, you know. Um, there's a lack of military understanding. <laughs> like, um, at one point, one of the soldiers is, is trying to head towards a specific spot. And, I, you know, I've never been a soldier, but I know that if you've got your gun up, you're definitely not supposed to point your gun at the other soldiers in your group. 
you know, like when you're when you're wait when you're patrolling, you're definitely not supposed to just overlap your own soldiers with your gun. That happens. Um, uh, we have a soldier that argues with a four-star general at one point, just in front of a bunch of other soldiers. Nothing happens. Um, two different groups of soldiers run into each other that don't know each other, and, and instead of any kind of military code words or or any kind of military communication, they're just two different groups of people just screaming at each other, you know, and... and while we have a guy bleeding to death on the ground who's been hit in the neck, and they're literally just yelling at each other, no concern for their commanding officer. Just he's just bleeding to death. It's okay. It's just a it's just a bad movie. I wouldn't waste my time. Um, you know, it's not worth the minute and twenty minute. You know, the hour and twenty minutes that that movie is. It's not worth it. So. I wouldn't put that money in Bruce Willis's pocket if this is what he's going to be putting out. So, um, if you guys have seen it, you know, want to leave me a comment or anything, hit me up in the comment section. Hit the like, subscribe button. Uh, got a couple more of these coming out today, and uh, we're just going to keep keep this train chugging along. See you guys later.